Casey Castle Common with Hazel, the Irish mentor this year. That's it. Well, welcome to I'm the Irish mammy. Yeah, Irish mammy. The Irish mammy. And I just wanted to discuss with you, uh, talk about your X Factor experience from the UK. How was that? For yeah, well, I did it before it was X Factor. It was called Pop Stars the Rivals, yeah. and because that's when I was nearly in. They said I was too old. I think I was just too fat because okay. I was I was eight and a half months pregnant, and I got into the last ten, and then they at the end at they had to get rid of me because it was um, uh, because to, to do with like uh, solicitors and all that when I was 10 days too old it would have meant that the others who didn't turn up so anyway legalities but I'm, I was happy I mean uh, I, I made a last 10 I was happy with that and when I was when I was taken out Kimberly took my place so I was happy because me Kimberly and Nadine were the best friends over there so it was great and I mean I was having a new baby a new experience for me so I was happy yeah have you had any more babies since I've had four wow. I have four sons now I know the stress of this day is yes falling off me in the last six months so uh, just moving on to your vision been a mentor now yeah how was that? And do you, where do you see the future of the Irish national selection going? Um, well, there's been some debate about the mental process. Yeah, there has been some debate, but I think that it, if it, it works as of now, and I mean, this is my first year being involved in, I, as in being involved in a mentor process. I was involved in it in 2005 when they did it like an X Factor style thing, yeah, yeah. ten acts, uh, ten acts, and then it was windled down with yeah. the public. So I've been involved in it a long time. I do think it works this way because it just gives everyone the shot of doing it. And I mean, um, I, I don't know how it's going to work next year. I think really what they need to do is, from my point of view, is they need to take it out of RT Studios. They need to put it on a big stage. Because it was very unfair for us, because my vision of what it was supposed to look like on the Eurovision stage had to be put down into like, like 10 foot. And it's not so, fair. So, you mentioned your vision there of what yeah. it's going to look like. There's been a little bit of debate in the media about yeah. how the staging should have come across, or yeah. how it should be, or it shouldn't be. Or Give me your well, I actually like the stadium here. I mean, I think it's I think it's amazing because we saw this, the um, the arena and what the stage is going to look like. So we brought our own graphics with us because we have the dancers. It's worked into the graphics. So we brought our own graphics with us from Ireland, and it, it tells the story. And I think that Eurovision is very much a show now. It's not about the song. It's not about the song. And it is. And it and I think it does. It actually gives the show as well. I mean, it's you know you can get up on stage and resonate by standing one person on their own singing, but you know. I think it has to be the show and when I originally came up with the concept of physically putting all the things that are good that's Irish you know, the Irish dances the music the Celtic teams that's all in there I wanted it to tell the story of what the song is about and on, on stage we have this the, da the dancers are light and dark fighting each other and Casey is the goddess that saves the day for me as UK media that's really nice to hear yeah. that because we hear We've had some negative things come across the water, yeah. Yeah. and it's nice to hear it from yeah. the mentor's yeah. viewpoint. Well, it's, it's, it's nice for me, concept. as what my concept was originally in the start, has now be, uh, become a reality on stage. And all along, we have been, uh, they're very good. I mean, I worked with Michael, he's the Irish delegate here in, in Ireland, and like everything that I said, it wasn't as if you're a song, that's it, you're over, get out, we're yeah, going to yeah, take yeah, over. Yeah, they kept it all the way along. And we all, like, even down to the clothes, even down to every single thing, it uh, was all we're a team. And, and I mean, they're a great crew coming over here. The, the positive energy out of them all, and and I think that's what we have to show uh, from what Ireland has to offer. Everyone in the world has an Irish cousin. Yeah, Everyone exactly. knows someone that's Irish, and I think that we need to represent ourselves as a group and what we are very good at doing. And, and, and hopefully, I think that we have a really good chance this year. I do think we have a great song. We have a great singer who's ready-made pop star. We have a great concept of what it's about. I think that we we have it all. Let's hope so. Vote so. Vote so. Vote. Okay, so we need uh, more than one point. What did you give us? Last year, one I point know, was it? I'm kind of slappy as around there. It was mortifying. <laughs> thanks very thanks much. Time. Thank you so much. Look after the girls. I will. I'll be mind cracking yeah. the whip, cracking okay. the whip. Thanks, thanks very, much. very much. Thank you.